First of all, you can't pretend to be a human unless you are aware that the composition of Earth's atmosphere is roughly 80% nitrogen and 20% oxygen. Numbers that are a little closer are about 78% nitrogen and 21% oxygen, but make sure that you memorize that and know it for the rest of your life. 80% nitrogen, 20% oxygen, no ifs, ands, or buts about it. Okay, properties of gases. We know that gases expand to fill their containers. We know that they're compressible. We know that they form homogeneous mixtures. And of course, there's a good reason for this. And that's because gas particles are very far apart from each other relative to the spacing of particles in the solid or liquid phases. And gas particles are in constant random motion. They move in straight lines and they keep moving until they bump into something and then they ricochet off and they move in straight lines that way. There's constant random motion which allows them to expand to fill any container and because they're far apart it's easy to compress them and they tend to form homogeneous mixtures because they're in constant random motion and can easily mix such that the composition of any part of the mixture tends to be very similar to the composition of any other part of the mixture. This term vapor refers to when we have gases of substances that are normally liquids or solids. For example, we use the term gasoline vapors or water vapor or rubbing alcohol vapor or nail polish remover vapor. These are all substances that we tend to see as liquids most of the time. We never use the term oxygen vapor, nitrogen vapor, because at ordinary temperatures oxygen and nitrogen are already gases. So this term vapor is used whenever you have the gaseous form of something that is usually in the liquid phase.